Budget woes plaguing the land of Lincoln. Illinois is still operating without a budget from state leaders. Could law enforcement be the latest casualty as the stalemate continues? News 10's Lindsay Yates reports from Marshall. They are called to serve and protect, but learning how to keep you safe requires extensive training. It's very important for the officers to keep them up to date on new laws, new procedures, policies. Chris Smithson is chief of police in Marshall. His officers are trained both in-house and through a mobile unit. They do patrol investigations, administration classes, firearms classes. Funded in part through the state, as the budget battle lags on, the dollars are starting to dry up. Some of the classes are being cut and in the future we may not be able to continue training for a while until we get a budget. This comes just months after lawmakers approved a new bill. It requires additional law enforcement training, a response to fatal police encounters nationwide. They mandate it, we got to train on it. If they're not providing that training or reimburses for that training, it will get difficult. Still, the department will do what it can using city money, but... My major worry is if the mobile unit does shut down for a while without their funding is we're going to have to go to outside sources if we need specific training and it's going to be at a higher rate to pay for it. Creating a pinch that Chief Smithson says could continue until a budget is passed. The officers suffer then if they're not up to date on all the new laws and stuff the public could suffer too. In Marshall with photojournalist Tony Casasia, Lindsay Yates, News 10. Much of the funding for this training comes from traffic tickets and court fees collected by the state. That money is currently frozen. Illinois has been operating without a budget for more than four months.